Hello children, today we are going to do one activity in which we will find out the numbers that are prime numbers. A number that has exactly two factors, it is called prime number. Here the term factors means, when we divide two numbers and we get zero as remainder, then quotient and the divisor are called the factors of the number. Here we have divided 12 by 4 and we are getting zero as remainder. Therefore, we can say that 4 and 3 are the factors of 12. Exactly two factors means which can be divided by 1 and number itself. Here we see that 2 is divided by 1 and number itself. So, 2 is a prime number. 3 is also divisible by 1 and number itself. So, 3 is a prime number. Therefore, the numbers which can be divided by only two numbers are called prime numbers. Whereas a number that has more than two factors is called composite number. That means it can be divided by one number itself and by any other number. Here we see that number 12 can be divided by one, two, three, four, six and twelve. Therefore number 12 has six factors. So it is a composite number. Number 1 is a unique number because it has only one factor. That means 1 can be divided by 1 only. Unique means subsealag. Our planet Earth is also a unique planet because it is the only planet that has life. Therefore 0 and 1 are neither prime numbers nor composite numbers. We have learned that prime numbers have only two factors and composite numbers have more than two factors. 0 and 1 are neither prime numbers nor composite numbers. To find out prime numbers between 1 and 100, we will make a grid and write 1 to 100 numbers in it. Now we will follow some steps. Step 1 is leave 1 as it is not a prime number and color in purple. Step 2. Leave 2 and color multiples of 2 in blue. Now we will learn what are multiples. Multiples are the products that we get when we multiply one number by another number. For example, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. Therefore, we can say that multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, etc. Or you can say multiples are like tables. We know that 2 is an even number, therefore all multiples of 2 will be even numbers. Even numbers kya hote hai? That end with 2, 4, 6, 8 and 0. Therefore 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 etc. are even numbers and are multiples of 2. That's why we have colored them blue. Step 3. Leave 3 and color multiples of 3 in green. Multiples of 3 are 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, etc. Lekin humne jo numbers already color kiye hoi hain, unko hum green color nahin karenge. Step 4. Leave 5 and color multiples of 5 in yellow. Multiples of 5 are 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and so on. Lekin jin numbers kum already color kar chukye unko dubara se color nahi karenge. Step 5. Leave 7 and color multiples of 7 in brown. Multiples of 7 are 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. Lekin jin numbers kum already color kar chukye unko dubara se color nahi karenge. Now we see that the numbers which are not colored are prime numbers. Therefore, the prime numbers between 1 and 100 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. Therefore, there are 25 prime numbers between 1 and 100. 
This method of separating prime and composite numbers is also known as sieve of Eratosthenes. He was a great mathematician. He designed this method to separate prime and composite numbers between 1 and 100. Hope you have liked this activity. That's all for today. Bye-bye.